Hello YouTube, my name is Nero, today we have some Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered, and throughout my entire Call of Duty career, which is a decade long at this point, I have always been the type of player who relied on experience, gun skill, reflexes, as well as instinct to do well in the series. Truth be told, I've never been one of those people that looked at numbers in the Call of Duty series very critically. I've always maintained that it's the player behind the gun, not necessarily the weapon itself, that will determine the outcome of a gunfight. Well, over the past couple of years, and especially now in Modern Warfare Remastered, I've taken a much bigger interest in learning the ins and outs of weapons. I want to understand them at a numerical level, rather than just learning, oh, this gun's good and this gun is not good. A friend of mine, SP Cypher, who you guys see in a lot of my videos, has always been interested in learning the guns at a statistical level, and he suggested a class to me, a class that I was absolutely shocked to find is actually good. That class, ladies and gentlemen, is the Double Tap Scorpion. This perk is considered to be widely useless in Modern Warfare Remastered because it competes in Perk 2 with Stopping Power, Juggernaut, and UAV Jammer. It's, just, it's not as good as those ones, right? Except in a couple niche situations. Well, the Scorpion is one of those niche situations. Double Tap actually takes the incredibly mediocre Scorpion and makes it an absolute monster. So when it comes to the Scorpion, right, you have a weapon that by default, without any Perk 2 whatsoever, does 50 damage up close that will quickly drop down to 20 damage at a distance. And this means without stopping power, if you're at bad breath distance with your opponent, you can actually two-shot kill them, but that two-shot range is going to quickly drop down to a five-shot range very, very quick. I mean, for context, picture the effective range at which you can get a one-hit kill with a shotgun here in Modern Warfare Remastered. The range where you drop from 50 damage with a scorpion down to 20 is about half the effective range of a one-hit kill shotgun. It's very, very close, so picture maybe five meters or something like that. So what this means is very up close, you can kill them in two bullets with a scorpion. If they get like five meters away from you and now drops down to five bullets, which is incredibly bad, which is why people consider the scorpion to be one of the worst guns in the game. Like at shotgun range, you need to actually put five bullets into them to take them out. Whereas most other guns at that range, they can kill you in two or three shots. That's why the scorpion is so bad. Double tap will fix all of that. So what Double Tap on the Scorpion does is it increases your fire rate to about 1200 rounds per minute. For context, this is actually comparable to the Scorpion Evo from Black Ops 2. The damage is even comparable, and honestly, if I were given the choice between the COD 4 Scorpion with Double Tap versus the Black Ops 2 Scorpion Evo, I may pick the COD 4 one because it kills incredibly quickly and and it has no recoil. The saving grace for this setup is the fact that even with the increased fire rate, a double tap Scorpion has next to no recoil. If you put double tap on MP5, for example, that gun's gonna kick like crazy. You put on AK-47, it's gonna kick like crazy. For some reason, when you put double tap on the Scorpion, it still has next to no recoil, which means you can snipe people across the map with this thing, and you only need to get five shots to connect to some part of their body to actually be able to kill them. The downside, of course, is the Scorpion actually has a magazine size of 20. A 20 round mag firing at about 1200 rounds per minute means you will empty this thing in about 1.08 seconds. That's very freaking fast. And for context, to completely reload the Scorpion, it takes about 2.06 seconds, which is almost double how long it takes you to completely empty the magazine while firing. So you need to be accurate when using this thing. The Double Tap Scorpion will melt people at ranges. This thing is quite honestly comparable to an assault rifle. It is very, very powerful. But if you are inaccurate, you are going to be stuck reloading half the time, which most likely means you're going to die. Also note, you cannot reload cancel the Scorpion pretty much, right? A lot of people on a lot of weapons will reload cancel. This means like if you're reloading your MP5, as soon as you see the ammo go back into your magazine, you can sprint or YY to cancel the actual animation itself to get yourself back in the fight. It's something you see a lot of good players doing. Well, the Scorpion doesn't do that. You have to actually wait for you to basically cock the thing back at the end to get the ammo to actually go into things. So there's no reload canceling, which means you're stuck watching this thing reload. So this means once again, you need to be incredibly accurate accurate because the reload is going to get you killed a lot of the time but if you can use this weapon effectively it is quite honestly one of the best weapons in the game in my opinion it's so freaking fun to use it melts people up close it is basically an assault rifle at a distance it is very very powerful this is going to be the class i recommend for your double tap scorpion setup bandolier double tap
tap steady aim. Bandolier is great for a class like this because you are going to be burning through an insane amount of ammo. Again, you guys saw it takes you like just over one second to completely deplete your entire magazine. And if you're not using Bandolier with this setup, you get four total full magazines counting actually the one built into your gun as soon as you spawn in. So in total, you have four total mags of ammo for your double tap scorpion, which is not a lot. You're going to burn through that very quickly. But if you're using Bandolier, you get nine full magazines of ammo counting the one you spawn in with. So that's very, very good on a class like this. Steady aim is a personal preference choice for me. The hip fire accuracy of submachine guns is already pretty good and steady aim makes it even better to each his own. Honestly, like if you want to run extreme conditioning or dead silence or what have you other great perks like eavesdrop, uh, you can use stuff like that if you would want to. But for me personally, I find steady aim to be very, very good on a class like this because this thing will outperform shotguns up close. Like it is just so ridiculously powerful. I will say that this is one of the most fun weapon setups in all of Modern Warfare Remastered. Now, we'll also say that I feel as though this is probably one of the most skill-based weapon setups in the game. If you're a good player who navigates the map in a very good way, if you're always paying attention to your mini-map and always setting up gunfights and giving yourself a position of advantage, you are going to do very well with this setup. But alternatively, if you're not that great of a player and if you're somebody who maybe struggles to do well or maybe has bad accuracy, you're going to have difficulty using this setup because the Scorpion with Double Tap is a very skill-based setup, at least in my opinion. The time to kill just feels odd. Like, whenever I'm using this setup, it, it feels like an entirely new weapon. Like, it feels like, at a range, I'm using an ACR. Like, it feels like a brand new assault rifle when I'm, you know, sniping people with this gun across the map, because that's what it does. It takes five bullets to kill. You're shooting at about 1,200 rounds per minute. Like, you get those five bullets downrange very, very quickly. It just, it feels unlike anything else in the game. It feels like a brand new SMG up close, a brand new assault rifle at a distance. It is just, it will melt people so quickly that the 10-tick servers can't even register it. You shot on their screen. Like, it's ridiculously good how fast this thing will actually kill people. Give the double tap scorpion a chance and I think you guys will be pleasantly surprised. One side note I would like to give you guys before I end off the video is that it was actually leaked a while ago that nine new attachments are going to be coming to Modern Warfare Remastered in the future. They are in the game files and some of these new attachments may actually make this class even better. You guys see right now by default I'm not actually using any attachments. Well, in the future, Extended Mag is going to be coming to the game. If Extended Mag is available on this, which will increase the base magazine size from 20 up to 30, or maybe even up to 40, that would be absolutely insane. And in my opinion, that would probably jump this up to be one of the best weapons in the game. Now, I'm sure some people are also wondering about Silencer, so I want to cover that very quickly. Silencer on a Double Tap Scorpion is perfectly fine. What Silencer does on the Scorpion is it's going to take that range at which it drops from 50 damage down to 20, and it's going to make it so it's even quicker, right? You're going to basically have even less range than you did before, which is barely any to begin with. And so for me personally, I like to not run a silencer because I like to have as much two-shot kill range as humanly possible. But if you guys don't care about that two-shot kill range, you're playing on a bigger map, or maybe it just comes down to preference, use the silencer. It really is a very, very small difference in terms of range. So ladies and gentlemen, that is going to conclude this video. I hope you guys all enjoyed it. Give this class a try. And what odd, weird class setup have you tried that you find a lot of success with? I'd love to hear about that down there in the comment section below. I hope you enjoyed the video. Drop me a rating and I hope you guys all have a wonderful day.